Okay. <sighs> Time for part two. I don't have hands for the door. Hang on. Got the door. So, update. It is not the EGR. Now I'll tell you why. Now you won't be able to see it, but I will be able to explain it. <clears throat> So, the other day, I put a little, hmm, hmm, I don't know how to show this, I put a little block off plate there. I got some sheet metal, literally just one foot by one foot piece of sheet metal, cut out the same size as the gasket, and put it in there, and it popped all three of the EGR codes. So. EGR is not the problem because it's, it's not receiving anything but it is still throwing all of the codes and with it all blocked off so no air running through this system right here still has a major tick issue um, I brought it into the AutoTech shop and we ran some live data through an uh, oscilloscope on there and we think that the exhaust manifold gasket is blown. If you guys can see it on down here. The actual gasket. We think it might be between the far back and this one right here, like in between right here on this flange, which is going to suck to check because when I replaced all of these bolts, because a bunch of them rusted apart pretty much, because that was a problem with these engines, um, I put Loctite on the bolts because I told you to do it. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. So going to have to take all those off. I'm going to check the gasket, make sure there aren't any burn through marks. And if there is, well, then either we got a bad gasket or we have another problem. And if this gasket isn't bad, then I'm just going to start checking all the rest of the exhaust gaskets, like the one that takes the manifold into the Y-pipe, or the cats, I guess, and so on and so forth. And if it's not an exhaust gasket, then I don't know, I might have to wait a little bit, take the heads off, and inspect everything else, which is going to suck. Oh, you can't even see me. I wasn't even pointing it at me. Which is going to suck, because, uh... Yeah, that's like those are like brand new head gaskets and if I have to like resurface the heads and get new valves um, <laughs> That's money talking and right now I have none of it. So Yeah, that's an issue That needs a tissue. So to start off. I'm going to take this block plate off of the EGR and then I guess slap the EGR back on and start taking off these head bolts. I might take the inner fender liner off so that I have better, you know, availability to the actual manifold gaskets. And we will go from there. So, yeah, fun stuff, fun, fun stuff. So, let's get to it. Here is what I was talking about with this block off plate. We got the gasket, which is still good. I just used it as a template for this bad boy. And as you can see, it's the same exact size as the gasket. If I just grab the gasket here and somehow turn it around in my hand, yeah, almost there. Boom, it pretty much mimics the gasket perfectly. So, if the EGR was the problem, then the ticking would have gone away, and that block off plate pretty much would have solved all of my problems, but it didn't. So, ugh, as Mighty Car Mods, that is going in the bin. Okay, whatever. We'll stop with the references. That, that wasn't very funny. Uh, I'm going to put the gasket and then the EGR back on, and we're going to get going on the exhaust manifold gaskets. And I will pick up either 
right before I get started to take the bolts off or after I get the bolts off and show you guys what we're looking at. Oh, just a side note, as I am trying to figure out the right size, 15, hmm, maybe, maybe 14. Uh, if it sounds like I'm talking really fast, it's because I just had two cups of coffee. And yeah, I'm very hyper right now. But anyway, let's see if I was right. No, probably 13. Ah. Not that good yet, I can't just guess. But I should be able to get to the point where I know everything on this truck. Because I am doing a lot of stuff to it. So yeah, I'll get back at it, sorry. Sorry to interrupt, just had to have that side note in there. Hopefully you guys can see me, I know the sun's back here, but I got you in the shade, hoping that that will help a little bit. Uh, but we made a groundbreaking discovery. So, this bolt right there, it was tight. That bolt right there, it was tight. That third bolt right there, sorry my hands are shaky, that was tight. Fourth bolt. You know, it was all right. It was pretty tight. Fifth bolt. No torque. Sixth bolt. No torque. So two out of the six bolts on this manifold were not tight at all. And you aren't even... Man, <sighs> I'm way too hyper. Yeah, but anyway, two of the six bolts were not tight at all. And the ticking noise is coming from the back of the engine on the passenger side. And what do you know? Those two bolts are on the back of the engine on the passenger side. So uh, we might have just found our culprit. And if we did, hell yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up all these bolts back again. And just turn on the truck. Make a lap around the parking lot and... See if it fixed it. And if it did, I just saved myself a lot of money. And, oh, some bitch. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But, right here. That's from Blow By. <laughs> so, yeah, um,. I'm gonna tighten up these bolts and get back to you on it. All right, guys, everything is all put back up. Got the little body rivets in, all that. Got everything off the engine bay, so on and so forth. I took the plastic off up here because I noticed this was loose, so I fixed that. Oh, oh too, getting too short for this truck. Okay getting too short. I already am too short. It's not like I'm shrinking or anything. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, it's hot in here. Dude. Boys, girls, I tell you what. First off, that sounds good. But second off, it's like 70 some degrees right now. And tomorrow is supposed to snow. Yeah. Pittsburgh wildin', man. Going crazy. Hard in the paint. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let my truck sit here, warm up just a little bit, and uh, we'll get going. Okay. All right. Let's go. Got a little bit of heat in the engine. And it is hot today. And tomorrow, I'm probably going to be, like, wearing my leather jacket. It's going to be cold. Like, what the hell, Kansas? Come on. Get with the program. Okay. Okay. Well, better than it was. I don't know if it's perfect yet. Get on Broadway. I'm also gonna 
let the engine warm up to operating temp. Might just like go to the tech or something right now and uh, get it there. I'll pick up when it's at operating temp and we'll continue this little test drive we've got going on here. Okay, we are in the tech parking lot. I'm gonna get on back here and do like a small acceleration because it only happens under load. So let's see what goes on. We're up to operating temp and we should be just good to go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gone. No more ticking. I don't know how those two back bolts came undone, but if, it, if they loosen up again, I'm gonna get some Loctite and just put them back on those bolts. Because so the gasket's fine. There's no like burnout or anything like that on the gasket. So, I mean, the only thing was is those two bolts. I don't know, but whatever. Things like that happen. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm a happy man today. Oh, because it, oh, man. I mean, it wasn't doing anything for me. Like, it wasn't hurting the truck or anything. But, oh, it was so annoying. So, I'm glad I got that thing fixed. And, yeah, I think that's going to end it. Surprisingly, only two parts. And I really hope this wind isn't getting through the mic but if it is i'm sorry uh only had to do two parts for this i probably would have been one part if i would have started with the easiest thing which was checking the gaskets but you know i'm not that smart <laughs> apparently but uh if you guys enjoyed go on ahead and uh like this video sounds good now uh yeah but like this video if uh if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and turn on that bell so you know when the next upload is and it is it can be sporadic every once in a while i'm gonna roll up the windows because it is a little bit windy can't be sporadic but i do i at least try to upload consistently but sometimes i don't do a good job about it um yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, well, actually, you know, I'll, I'll wait for that. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.